Hi, I'm Subha and in this video we'll talk about how you can harness power from the sun to be your fittest, healthiest self. We will learn how to take sunlight in the right way at the right time in the right quantity so it can be a working hospital for your body and permanently cure diseases. In the last video, we discussed what food you should eat. Living, wholesome, water-rich, plant-based food. Now this video is a continuation of the last video. In this, we will talk about the second kind of food your body needs, sun food. Sunlight is food for our cells and without it, our organs cannot function properly. Yet, most of our bodies are starving for sunlight. We're becoming an indoor generation, a generation that spends 90% of its life indoors. We have filled our homes with fancy things and so they've become places we never want to leave. Nature is being replaced with gadgets and sunlight with artificial light. We wake up in a closed room, shower in a closed bathroom, get into a closed elevator, into a closed car and drive to work where we spend all day working in a closed room. From entertainment to sport to shop, we have caged ourselves in to a point nothing can get out. And if we do go out, we wear so many creams and clothing, so no speck of sunlight falls on our skin. Unfortunately, God has not adapted our bodies to live without sunlight. Sunlight has been the biological need for us humans. And because we're not getting it, many things are starting to go wrong. Most of us are starting to feel sad. As a society, we're constantly under stress or anxiety. Depression has become a common state of mind and we're popping pills to feel happy. But how can we be happy if we shut ourselves in darkness? Some people are having problems sleeping and others are having problems breathing. The lack of sunlight is also affecting children's ability to learn, to remember. On a physical level, it's softening our bones and problems like osteoporosis, cervical arthritis, constant knee and back pains, which once only used to affect our grandparents, are becoming common even amongst us youth. Hard to notice in the beginning, but the lack of sunlight is disrupting the natural functioning of our organs, of our pancreas, ovaries, heart, skin, and we're getting diseases like diabetes, PCOD, hormonal imbalances, thyroid, acne, psoriasis, and high blood pressure. Now, the solution is simple. From an indoor generation, we have to become an outdoor generation. We have to let sunlight back into our lives again. Sunlight is the original medicine that humans have been using for thousands of years. In Germany, during World War I, sunlight was used to treat war wounds. When soldiers fighting in a war got gunshot wounds, instead of wrapping wounds with bandage, the military doctors exposed it to the sun for several hours a day. Sunlight was actually used as an antiseptic to clean up the wound. In Rome, they practiced something called solar architecture. A true architect was looked at someone who also had the knowledge of health and designed buildings with most sunlight. In Greece, they used heliotherapy, meaning using sunlight as medicine. All across Europe, there were heliotherapy clinics where patients, particularly children, were put in sunbeds for much of the day and saw dramatic results in curing all diseases, including rickets, burns, ulcers, anemia. In Italy, they made sunlit hospital rooms Patients who were put in sunlit hospital rooms healed much faster than patients in rooms which received no sunlight. All across the world, sunlight was used as a medicine. Something so common sense has become uncommon to us today. So come, let's be the generation who brings back these forgotten truths. Let's learn how you can make your body a piece of marvel by everyday sun charging. In this video, we'll discuss two powerful ways to sun charge your body. Number one is sunbathing, which basically means that you go outside for about 30 minutes every day and expose your body to the sun. Look, bathing that we do with water every day is just one type of bathing. It only cleans your external body. Sunbathing is essential for cleaning your internal body. When wheat or rice in our kitchen catches worms or starts to smell bad, we put it under the sun and it gets purified. Why? Because sunlight is a natural disinfectant. It detoxifies your body by removing the bad bacteria, molds, funguses that you might not even know exist inside. Secondly, sunlight is a powerful detoxifier. When sunlight falls on our skin, our skin feels a little warm. That is when sunlight is penetrating deep into your skin and reaching the blood passing through your arteries. And so your blood gets circulated. 
blood that was previously hard and clogged up is put into motion. The toxins and impurities in your blood are also circulated and then finally excreted through sweat or urine. After sunbathing, most people's urine turns yellow. That's a sign of more toxins being released from the body and no disease in the world can survive in a body that is clean internally. Sunbathing is also essential to maintain your skin health. In your skin, there are thousands of little pores per square inch. When these pores become closed because of dirt or any other matter, the waste can no longer exit the skin and it gives rise to many diseases. By giving them the light warmth of the sun, these pores are opened up and waste accumulated in these pores exits out through the skin. Combine everyday sunbathing with 16 hour fasting, enema, wet pack and proper diet which we talked about in the previous videos and all skin problems will vanish within a few months be it acne, psoriasis, eczema, anything. See, our water is contaminated, our air is contaminated, our food is contaminated but sunlight is the only source of energy that is 100% uncontaminated and always will be. So, what is the proper way to sunbathe? Simply go out and lie down in the sun. Where to sunbathe? Any place where sunlight can directly reach you. Balcony, veranda, roof, park, beach. Best time to sunbathe is morning or evening. Remember, you need the light of the sun, not the heat of the sun. Morning or evening is the best time because at this time, the sun is not very strong. How long to sunbathe? Approximately 30 minutes. First, expose your full front body for 15 minutes and then your whole back body for another 15 minutes. As soon as you start sweating, stop sunbathing and come back inside. You must sunbathe every day. Make it a lifestyle and continue it throughout life. What to wear? It's the best to sunbathe with absolutely no clothes on. But if you can't find a private spot, wear as little clothes as possible, preferably white cotton clothes. Cotton readily absorbs the light of the sun. No point sunbathing wearing thick glares of clothes, synthetics or polyester. Also, don't sunbathe through a glass window. It's not effective. Go out and sunbathe in the open so you get the full spectrum of the sun. While sunbathing, remember to express gratitude. Say thank you to the sun for sending out its healing energies to you. Develop a relationship with the sun. Trust me, it's a beautiful relationship. To make best use of your time, combine sunbathing with any other activity such as reading a book or listening to a lecture. Don't worry, you won't tan. It's only the harsh afternoon sun that pigments our skin. Sunbathing is for everyone, not just for the sick. Children, young, old, everybody can do it. Also, never use sunscreen. Sunscreen is one of the most toxic things you can apply on your body. Look at the label. You're literally baking all those chemicals into your skin pores, which open up when exposed to heat from the sun. These chemicals go deep inside our skin tissues because of the external pressure of the sun. It's never the sun that gives us cancer, but the chemicals in the sunscreen that give us cancer. To protect yourself from the strong afternoon sunlight, use a hat or cover your head with a cloth. Use physical protection rather than chemicals. As a society, we've started fearing the sun. But where did this fear come from? It's the cosmetic and pharmaceutical companies that infused this fear in our society. Advertising campaigns aimed at selling supplements and sunscreens put this fear in us so that they can sell us a product. Our ancestors did quite well without it. Along with sunbathing, simply do more things outdoors. Instead of running in a stuffy gym on treadmills where you're breathing the same dirty air expelled by other people, exercise outdoors in the fresh open sun. Do Surya Namaskar so you get two benefits at the same time of sunlight and exercise. Let daylight enter your house and your workplace. Open up your curtains, open up your windows. Sunlight makes us feel happier. You'll be able to concentrate more on your studies and work. The atmosphere in your home will instantly become more positive. There's a huge connection between sunlight and mental health. In Scandinavian countries like Denmark, where the weather is extreme and the sun sets at 3 in the afternoon, many people get depressed, even disabled and commit suicide. Scientists call it seasonal affective disorder. They discovered that as sunlight goes down, sadness goes up. Some of the world's richest nations are committing the highest rates of suicide in winter. Why? Because all the wealth can't give us the happiness that sunlight can. And it's the same for us. 
our anxieties our insecurities will automatically be reduced substantially by everyday sunbathing okay moving on you might be eating the best most nutritious food but you still might be deficient in important nutrients such as calcium or iron because without sunlight your body simply cannot absorb nutrients like calcium phosphorus magnesium from your food when the body cannot absorb calcium your bones tend to become thinner and weaker and bone mass declines by everyday sunbathing your bones regain their strength If you have knee pain expose your whole body including the knees to the sun every day and your knee pain will go away if there are any parts of your body that have become degenerated or have become lifeless they are rejuvenated brought back to life if you have back pain expose your whole back every day to the sun and your back pain will go away sunlight delivers healing effects to all our joints forget those worthless vitamin d pills there is no pill in the world that can artificially induce vitamin d in your body sunlight is not something you can pack in a capsule and swallow you need the real deal you need the real sunlight and all deficiencies will automatically go away no need for any supplements by sunbathing your digestive fire your jathar agni becomes stronger if you pair everyday sunbathing with the correct satvik food all digestive disorders be it indigestion acidity ibs ulcers they'll all go away if you have a cold or a cough or a sore throat sunbathe for even longer you can take it up to 2 to 3 hours don't take medicine just do fasting enema wet pack and sunbathing and you will instantly see improvements because sunlight dissolves the mucus sitting in your airways you might even sneeze a couple of times by regular sunbathing you can permanently get rid of asthma bronchitis chronic cough sunlight also influences the secretion of insulin by your pancreas and plays an important role in reversing diabetes i have left links of all such scientific studies proving these facts in the youtube description below moment you fall in love with the sun everything will change i understand if you think that this is too simple to be true but let me tell you something the truth is always simple if something is not simple it's not capable of being the truth you don't need to go through the winding woods of pharmacology bacteriology physiology to keep yourself healthy you need to do simple things consistently sunlight is lifestyle medicine the reason you don't hear about it on tv or newspapers is because nobody profits from lifestyle medicine other than you of course so it's not made a part of medical training that's just how the system works in the next video we will talk about sun charged water and sun charged food comment below what you think sun charging your water means goodbye for now and i'll see you in the next video